Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. It's me, Cooper, and we're going to be doing the Ultimate Great Moth, which is the next story, which is basically, hey, Pegasus shows up and says, hey, I'm gonna take your grandpa's soul. Yu-Gi duels Pegasus, the duel ends uh, with by a time limit. Kind of lame, honestly, but it's fine. And then he, uh, Pegasus tells us about the uh, Millennium Items. It's pretty interesting. He has the eye, we have the, what was it called again? The... The puzzle yeah we got the millennium puzzle hey grandpa bye grandpa and then yugi cries and he has to go to du duelist kingdom to get his grandpa back now you get to start off with i think two stool chips and then suddenly he is uh attacked by uh weevil and weevil in uh, the story destroyed uh yugi's exodia deck so now yugi has to use a different deck and defeat weevil weevil on the other hand has bug deck bug deck is super fun and i love bug deck i want bug deck I want to make a bug deck in my Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tac Force 2 Let's Play, but I haven't been able to. In this game, it's going to be a lot easier. So, at least at this point of recording, I have not been able to. I want to. Get, don't get me wrong. I'm going to do everything I can to make it happen. Oh, this is an interesting hand. So, this game, we get Beaver Warrior, Mirror Force. Oh, I almost have the combo. Guy, the Dragon Champion is so cool. All right, we're going to play aggressive as hell. We're going to put you down, you down. We'll save the Burning Land in case he tries to throw a forest at us, because I know Weevil loves the forest cards. Hell, look around us. We're in a forest right now. In the actual show, because uh, the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! is complete bullshit. There's a lot of cheating involved. There's a lot of stuff that makes no sense. And in the actual show, Weevil takes Yugi to a forest place to duel him, and that gives all of uh, Weevil's monsters a bonus. All of his insects, all of his beast warriors, I believe... Uh, well, no, beast monsters. Yeah, all of his insects and all of his beast monsters get a boost. I'm a beast warrior, and I also get a boost, luckily. So that's kind of great. Yeah, beast, plant, insect. Wow, that's a lot of monsters getting a boost from this field. So thankfully, we also got a boost from this field, and we're going to take full advantage of that boost. And I am actually... Do I want to do it this way? Do I want to use the burning land and then force me and uh, Weevil to fight for the, to the death? So what Burning Land does, it destroys any field spell on the field. And then, each person's standby phase, they must pay 500 life points. So, or they take 500 damage in life points. So, he's about to take 500. And then I'll take 500 on my turn. So it's going to be a race to the bottom. Which one of us burns first? Now, playing a new card does not affect for, uh, Burning Land at all. Ooh, this affects me though. Hercules Beetle! Good to see him. I'm actually too tanky for the Hercules Beetle. And I... I'm going to play super aggressively even though I don't need to. At this point in the time, I don't need to play as aggressively as I'm doing. I just feel like it'd be fun if I was aggressive rather than passive. So, Mirror Force has been activated super early. Burning Land's gonna burn me. And then I'm going to summon the Curse of Dragon by getting rid of my Sangan. And by doing that, Sangan gets set to the graveyard, which lets me get a monster, which is super cool. You know what? I want you on the right of Beaver Warrior. Trust me, it's, it's a strategy. You need to be on the right. And then what monsters are in my... What the hell? What? What? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Was my move too freaking good? Are you kidding me? Nintendo... Or Nintendo, is this how bad your system... I'm joking. I love the Switch, but... That, that was a bad... That was a bad thing that just happened. Now I'm gonna have to redo that. I was doing super good. I was pulling off a cool little combo there. Oh, screw you, Nintendo. They, they're they like, oh shit, he's going to beat Weevil too quickly. And then the game cheated because Weevil paid them $7. <laughs> now I got to do it all over again. Thank you, Nintendo. Oh man, that's lame. I just paid $40 for this game. You better freaking, you better freaking work. Especially since the PS4 version never crashed on me. And I mean never. And now, granted, it's an older version that doesn't have all these effects or anything. Oh, this hand is way worse. I don't have Curse of Dragon this time around. I don't have any good defense this time around. Oh, this sucks. Video game, what are you doing to me? This feels like the end of the Pokemon Emerald Tournament all over again. Uh, you guys wouldn't know. It's something happened to me during the Pokemon Emerald Tournament that I will take to my grave in unhappiness. All right, well, I got screwed. So let's uh, try to duel him again, but this time at a disadvantage. So, 1200, I should have played you in attack mode. I actually do want to mirror force Howling Insect because Howling Insect has an effect when it's destroyed by battle. So if I end up, end up destroying it by battle, I'll be playing into Weevil's hand, so to speak. 
So I'm not going to play into Weevil's hand. I'm going to play it like that. And now, let's see. Graceful Charity. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? I need to get some monsters. So what do we got? Summon Skull. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. My happiness is going way up. All right. I'm actually not going to need Karibo as much as I like Karibo. And Feralimp, as much as I like you, you also need to go take a chill pill. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to play aggressively and hope to God that Weevil here does not have Mirror Force. I'm 100% sure he does have it in his deck, but what are the odds he started with it? It's not like we started with it twice in both duels that we've had with him. Oh, thank God. I, I thought I was playing it. I, I thought I was playing myself by saying that, but no. Or jinxing myself, but no, it all worked out in the end. Still, my field is much weaker than it was the last duel, so I gotta figure this out. Because all he has to do is draw a freaking forest card, and then the forest will make his monster stronger than mine. Alright, what are you gonna do, Weevil? Defensively, huh? Well, defense is exactly what I want you to do, because I'm about to summon one of my big boys. Hey, good to see you again, Curse of Dragon. What if Curse of Dragon and freaking Summon Skull could fuse? Although, Curse of Dragon already looks like bones, so I guess that wouldn't make sense. We'll make him white instead of gold. That would be cool. That would be cool. I want a fusion of Curse of Dragon and Summon Skull. Someone make that. Please make that. Wait, hold up. I, I'm summoning Summon Skull, right? I, I didn't accidentally pick Curse of Dragon. Whoops. All right, so we're going to get rid of Mammoth Graveyard or anything. You know what? Mammoth Graveyard is evolving. It's from a Skull uh, Mammoth into a Skull Fiend. I think that's a, ba a more badass description. And now you destroy his monster because he has a lot of... De yeah! Cocoon of Evolution. I knew it. He has a lot of good defense monsters in his insect deck. And that Cocoon of Evolution could be... Well, not that one, but... A Petite Moth mixed with a Cocoon of Evolution could become a real problem if you let it happen. So, we're not going to let it happen. We're going to play super uh, safe. Alright. Ooh, you got your own Graceful Charity. What kind of cards are you throwing away? I I know Hercules, but the other one not. What? Okay, wait. You did not have whatever the hell that card is. in. Yeah, this card, whatever it is, he did not have that in the story mode that I know of. This game is cheating. Okay, I don't know what this spell card is, but I, I, I just looking at it makes me scared. So, I gotta be careful. Oh, do, 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 do I want my Horn of the Unicorn? You know what? Yeah, we're gonna use Horn of the Unicorn. We're gonna equip it to our good old friend, Winged uh, Dragon of the Fortress. And we're gonna use that to pierce his defenses. Oh, it was just Petite Moth. Hey, they little buddy. I used Petite Moth all the way through the entire story of Capsule Monsters, the Coliseum. Another Let's Play it on my channel. It was super fun. I miss that series because that one it was all it was all about tactics like all of your monsters moving it's like chess where all of your monsters can move in certain ways and have a certain amount of spaces they can move and can attack in certain positions but not other positions oh i saw him throw away basic insect that's a classic that's a classic weevil monster all right let's see 25 21 and sangan that's a good boy come here sangan you're gonna help me win this duel i mean we won the duel already but you're gonna make it even fun uh, funner for me is not a word. Hmm. You're gonna make it even more entertaining for me. All right. And never mind. I'm not even gonna use sand again. Let's just let Summon Skull do the work. Heck yeah. We won. Weevil, you are out of here. Yeah, your moth is unbeatable, but you only summoned the petite version. So, sorry, buddy. Not really uh, working in your favor, is it? Now we are moving on to the Harpy Lady. Now, if I remember, the last time I played this game on the PS4, this duel was actually pretty hard, because it's Joey versus uh, Mai. And as much as I love Joey cards, his original, the original Joey deck is filled with monsters that are five stars and above. He rarely has any monsters that are weak. So it's super hard to draw the proper cards to defeat My Valentine. But luckily for me, this My Valentine probably doesn't have Harpy's Pet Dragon. I think, oh, look, I drew, uh, I drew uh, this five star monster which I probably will use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this. I'm going to summon good old Tiger Axe. I honestly got a really good hand. Like, looking at it, this is a really good hand. I just got to hope she doesn't summon something like Harpy Lady. She needs to summon something bigger. Like Cyber Harpy Lady. D-Spell? That's not a spell card, actually. D-Spell is a fun card. My friend Mario uses it. That's a, that's not a card you should have at this in this point of the story. That's not a card you should have in this point of the story. What the hell is going on in this game? What the? I I am upset now. None of these cards should... She should not have any of these cards. Especially... Oh, wait, but she has to destroy her own field spell now. That's good for me. Good for my... Oh, good. Good. Yeah, just let her use her whole hand, basically. So, Tiger Axe, I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, my Valentine's cheating. She's using cards that definitely did not exist 
uh, at the time that uh, this game was supposed to be based in. Yet Joey still uses all these cards from the time that uh, this is taking place in. So yeah, we're going to have to dark hole on that one. That's that's a bad setup for me. Hopefully I just cost her all her monsters and that last card in her hand is just a spell card that she can't use at this point in time. If, uh, if not, then I'm screwed because I don't think any of her monsters are weaker than Baby Dragon. Her weakest monster is probably Harpy Lady, and that thing has 1300 attack. Although, if she has Harpy's Dancer, that means she probably has the other Harpy cards too. Which, that intimidates me. Harpy Dancer is the weak one though, but she can use its effect is the problem. Okay, or not. She could just play that face down and... You know, she didn't play that face down last time. Unless that she had this monster last time. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use Gaia Power. Because Gaia Power will power up my Masaki. That way I don't have to just summon Rude Kaiser. In case this card is something like, uh, I don't know. I, I can't think of anything, but a card that could destroy one monster, like Sakuretsu Armor. That is going to destroy two monsters, so that's a little less lucky for me. Okay, then. Oh, he went... She... Uh, you know what? That was a good play on her part, because honestly, that Gaia Power was going to make my deck stronger than her monsters. Still, though, I have the advantage unless she top decks something decent. She's got to top deck it, though, so I feel a little safe. Come on, game. Don't don't screw me. Oh, thank you, God. Okay, I'm like... <laughs> What's going to happen? Okay, wait a minute. There's no way that Joey had this card back in the... This game is weird. They gave you a lot of updated cards, didn't you? Reveal one fuge monster in your extra. Add one fuge material monster whose name is specifically listed on the card to the graveyard to your hand. And if you do, for the rest of this turn, after you can... Uh, you cannot... Resolves, you cannot normal or special summon monsters with the added name. Also, your monster with that name cannot activate their effects. Yada, yada, yada. I'll just try it. Let's just try it out and see what it does. I've never seen this card in my life. I like Time Wizard. Give me Time Wizard. There's Thousand Dragon. Perfect. There we go. I got Time Wizard now. But without Polymerization, there's no point. Because you can't use the effect of Time Wizard to increase uh, Baby Dragon into Thousand Dragon in this game. Which doesn't matter because I'm getting rid of Baby Dragon anyway. So for those of you at home that are like, oh, he's going to summon Thousand Dragon. I love Thousand Dragon. I'm not going to summon him. Because if I try to summon him, I'll probably lose the duel. Only because every single one of her monsters in her deck can probably beat Baby Dragon. Except Harpy's Dancer, which she's drawn two of so far. So there's no way she's going to draw a third one. Oh, the odds are so low on that. So let's see. What did you draw in the end? Probably a Harpy Lady, so nothing to be afraid of. Now, I have this Time Wizard, which is my ace in the hole. Oh, this is one of Joey's good four-star monsters. It's almost as strong as uh, Rude Kaiser, but it's a four-star, so that's way better. All right, let's just assume her monsters aren't that defensive. Uh, Birdface is a little defensive, so I'm glad I was just strong enough. And Basic Harpy Lady, interesting. I thought she would have Cyber Harpy Lady, seeing as she has all these other new Harpy Lady cards. And 2,000 life points left. You're going down, my. Unless that card in your hand is Elegant Egotist, you're going down. Or that card. Let's see what they got. she's got. Okay, defense mode. So, wait, that's not even the Harpy Lady. Interesting. That's the card she just drew. Oh, Koji Kosi. Good to see you, man. Haven't used this card in years. I got this in the, in the starter pack. Or the starter, uh, yeah, the starter pack. That uh, I bought when I was, God knows how young. I was probably like five. You got Harpy Girl? What the hell? I mean, I expect you to have something as weak as Harpy Girl, but damn. My, you were a lot easier than l the last time I fought you back in back in the day. I didn't play you on the, I fight you in this channel. But back in my day, yeah, you were tough. How could I lose to such an amateur? Yeah, she loses to Joey. Joey gets some star chips and he's happy because he beats my Valentine, which is a pretty cool duel in the in the game or in the in the show, but that's mostly because she cheated and he's like, "Hey, you cheated." And then she's like, "Damn it, he knows." All right, guys, you know what? Let's do Attack from the Deep. I'm, I'm down. I want to do it. So we got to learn more about the Millennium items, and we're not going to because I don't care. Joey here is talking to Yugi. They're talking about how they need to eat because they're on an island and they don't have any food. So then they smell something good. It smells like fish. They find a campfire. They decide to eat the fish, and then they find out it was this guy's fish, and uh, he's a little bit upset. You can't steal my prey, he's like. And then he's also like, hey, wait a minute. I'm a duelist. You're Yugi Moto. You beat that one Kaiba guy. I want to duel you. So Mako wants to duel you for the food. And then he's like, you ate my food. So you're forced to duel me. And that's it. <laughs> that's the story. So we're going to be dueling Mako Tsunami. One of my, honestly, I really like all the original uh, enemies in the game. He's not a bad guy. He's just an enemy. And um, I do make some Mako decks, a little bit updated Mako decks because his original Mako or original monsters were whew, a little rough. 
Speaking of rough, we got no defense that- oh, no, spell or trap card defense this time around. So we're gonna have to play super safe. Beaver Warrior, get on that field and you pray to God he doesn't summon a water monster that can beat you. The only thing I could think of that he would have that could beat you is probably like the Great White or something. One of them- one of them shark monsters. And now most of his monsters can beat you, thanks to Umi. Hey, look who it is! I am really good at that. <laughs> Oh, shit. I am in danger. I'm in danger. So, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, that, that'll that'll fix my problem. Alright, so most of these monsters wouldn't do too good in the water. So I'm just gonna have to let Griffor suck it up and be in the water. Enjoy yourself, Griffor. In the actual anime, this would be a problem to put Griffor in the water. He'd be drowning and he'd lose a bunch of attack and defense. But in this game, luckily, they don't play with that. He got two. What the hell? It's like one of the best fish monsters you can have this early in the story. So yeah, take this. I've drawn Mirror Force like every single duel. Even the duel where I that got cut off because the game crashed. Which I can't believe the game crashed. That's still incredible. Alright, so most of his monsters will beat Griffor and Celtic Guardian. But I'm still going to attack with both Griffor and Celtic Guardian. Rather than summoning my Curse of Dragon. I know it sounds weird to do this, but screw it. He has such a derpy face. I like you, Griffor. I like you a lot. I don't think I have... I think I have you now. But back in the day, I don't even think you existed. But I have a, a Griffor now because I got it in one of them newer packs. Uh, I don't buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards anymore. But newer packs as in like... Uh, like, uh, hey, here's a Joey pack. Updated. And it's like... It comes in like a tin like a thing. I don't remember what it was called. Whatever it was, me and my friends played it like six years ago. It was fun. So he's playing defensively, which is not... Oh, ho, 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 ho! yes, I am a happy camper. We are going to be summoning Gaia, the dragon champion, our boss monster. And Yugi's boss monster this early in the story. At least until the, the tournament starts, because this is just uh, on the way to the tournament. Or trying to earn our position in the tournament. And what the hell is this? Why can I summon them here? Okay, you know what? I'm just assuming it's the same thing. So yeah, he can be there. That's weird. Someone's gonna need to have to... Can one of you guys in the comments explain that to me? What the hell are these two things? And why is my monster in one of them? Alright, well, I'm just gonna do what I do. So you, attack face down. Oh, wow, it really was just a super weak monster. I thought it was like an only defense monster. Alright, you attack you, you attack you. I probably could have won this, this turn had I played it a little bit more aggressively. But you know what? I... There was no way I could have known that that monster was that weak. I thought it would be a defensive water monster like Aquamador or something. So, Mako, what are you going to do against my boss, the Gaia, the Dragon Champion? I'm sad that it doesn't get an animation in this game, but I'm assuming that's that, that's fine. If I want to get an animation, I'll go play uh, Duels of the Roses. And this thing it does not work on any of my current monsters, so let's just win the duel with good old Gaia. Gaia the Dragon Champion, Obliterate, that's the wrong one, um, Swooping Spiral something, I don't remember. So, we defeated, uh, Mako Tsunami, that was pretty, honestly, pretty easy. We've, we've had harder times. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're going to, uh, I don't want to do this, you know what, we'll do three duels, screw it. We're gonna do, uh, Rex Raptor as well, come on Rex. I really like Rex Raptor though, because dinosaur cards are pretty cool, and he uses a bunch of dinos that are just like, classic like they're just like this dino is a t-rex this dino is a brachiosaurus this dino is a chubby green alligator with a metal gatling gun hand you know just the just the original stuff completely based on history and uh actual biological creatures you know so basically story-wise my is just saying hey rex i need you to beat this kid for me because he was jerk and then she's and then she's like, okay, I'm gonna convince Rex, who is the runner-up to being a champion. He lost to Weevil, and uh, yeah, you beat Joey for me. So Rex versus uh, Joey. I believe Joey can beat Rex. The problem with this duel is I know Rex Raptor has some damn powerful dinos. His two-headed King Rex and Crawling Dragon number two are really good. So Joey has to get lucky and get a, a couple four-star monsters that are also as good, just as good. Either that or I need to get a field spell. Because I know Rex will have his Wasteland spell just waiting for me. Alright, Swamp Battle Guard. Lava! Oh, I got the combo, but you have to summon both of them is the problem. Alright, so he's already bringing out the Wasteland. I knew it. Ah, freaking Rex. I don't have any cards that benefit from Wasteland in my hand. 
And there's Crawling Dragon number two. This is going to be a tough duel. And this is going to be an interesting duel. Monster Gate's a broken card. There's two out of King Rex instead. Okay, have that one. It's the same scenario, but interesting that you would do this. And a face down card. The face down worries me more than the monster. Ooh, I got some good cards. Okay, obviously start with Pot of the Greed. Or Pot of Greed, you need that. It lets you draw two new cards. I need to get Palmerization. That would be so cool. I want to summon Flame Swordsman. Give me Palmerization. Yeah, I got Palmerization! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I'm a happy camper. All right, we don't need you. And we don't need... I don't want to get I don't I don't want to get rid of my lava battle guns a swamp battle guard combo but I don't want to get rid of Sakuratsu armor. You jerky video game. You jerky video game. You're going to make me do something I don't want to. All right, Sword and Shield get out of here even though you would have been good. I'm going to start the duel with Palmerization and I'm going to summon my ultimate monster. Well, not my ultimate monster, but one of my strongest monsters, sadly. The Flame Swordsman. One of the most badass cards from back in the day. Look at this. You, you throw a fire guy, you throw a swordsman. Boom. Badass. Alright. And attack position, because that's the only way you're going to be able to handle this two-headed King Rex. But don't worry. Oh, he gets an animation. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Alright. Flame Swordsman's awesome. If we were playing Duels to the uh, Roses, he would be able to destroy this monster, because he gets a boost from fighting dinosaur monsters. But we're not playing Duels to the Roses, so we're going to have to play it the old-fashioned way. And use Soul Exchange. By doing this, I can tribute his monster to summon my Swamp Battle Guard. So, boom. This will summon Swamp Battle Guard in the attack position. And then I have Sakuretsu Armor in case he plays Dark Hole or something. And I can't attack this turn because I use Soul Exchange. But it was the only way I could think of to get rid of 2 Eddie King Rex. So, now that I've done this, Raptor, what are you going to do? Please don't play something stupid. You, did pl you played nothing, which is not... It, it, that, that intimidates me. We got Salamandra! Yeah! Okay, I'm going to activate Salamandra, which is a card that will power up my Flame Swordsman to 2,500 attack. He is as strong as the freaking uh, for, uh, Dark Magician now. Now, please don't die to a Sakuretsu armor of some sort. He does not have it. And we are now going to win with Swamp Battle Guard and Flame Swordsman. If I can get Lava out, I will. Trust me. That's my goal. Because if you have Lava and Swamp on the field at the same time, they both power each other up by 500, putting Swamp at 2300 attack and Lava at 2050 attack. Which is still good. Those are good, those are good stats. Although, having 2500 on Flame Swordsman is way better. So, Masaki, I'm going to go ahead and summon you. Yeah, just get into attack mode right behind the Flame Swordsman, because that makes sense. You're like the baby version of Flame Swordsman. Now, his Dino Monsters, I don't know if any of them are really defensive, so I think we can do this. Yeah, that's why I thought it was Irby. Dinos usually are offensive monsters, except for future dinos like in the GX games. Those those get some more defense stat. And we can't win this turn. Okay. Hmm. If, if I would have attacked with Misaki, we could have won this turn, but I didn't think his defense would be that low. Although this is a dino we've all owned at one point. I think I got him in, in the starter deck first, and then I got a shit ton of them in packs because he's one of the most common monsters you'll ever see from back in the day. I don't know about you kids nowadays. You kids... Got some weirder cards nowadays. Oh, wow. I, if I had Flame Swordsman, I could summon another one. Guys, I'm going to do it. I have the combo. Flame Swordsman and Double Swamp and Lava Battle Guard. Putting these together, my stats are blowing up. 2,050, 23, 25. I got every combo off I can imagine. And Flame Swordsman, do the honors. Destroy this card. Trekodon. Trekodon's cool because it's part of a fusion that uh, Rex doesn't have yet. And Swamp Battle Guard win us the duel. Heck yeah, we have defeated Rex Raptor. Not bad, guys. Not bad at all. And you, this is the scene where Joey wins Red Eyes Black Dragon. Because uh, he was supposed to use Red Eyes and I was supposed to use the Time Wizard and, and Baby Dragon, but I didn't. And you know what, guys? That's going to be it. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time, we will be moving on to Evil Spirit of the Ring. God knows what that's going to be. Well, we all do. Because we all watched the show, I assume. Please tell me you all watched the show. Go watch the show if you haven't. Even if it is kind of lame nowadays, it's funny. Trust me. All right. Bye, guys.